Hello students, today we are going to start with chapter 7 which is motion and measurement of distances. What we are going to do here is solve the exercise questions. Okay, so we will be doing question and answers. First question, give two examples each of modes of transport used on land, water and air. Matlab, land, water or air. Is par hum कौनसे कौनसे transport modes use करते हैं, ठीक है? And the answer to this question is following are the examples of modes of transport used on land, water and air. Okay, and what are those modes? On land, we use train, bus. Okay, as you can see from the image, this is an example of a train. And then on water, we use ship, boat. So this is a ship. And in air, we use helicopter, aeroplane. And what is this? This is the image of helicopter. So these are the different modes of transport. Okay, used on land, water and air. Fill in the blanks. One meter is dash centimeter. What is one meter? One meter is 100 centimeter. Then five kilometer is dash meter. How do we do this? By multiplying five with thousand. So this will give me 5000. Correct? 5000 meter. Next question, motion of a child on a swing is what? It is going to and fro, that's why it is periodic motion. Okay, so the answer is periodic. Fourth question, motion of the needle of a swing machine. This is also periodic. Why? Because that also goes to and fro. Okay, so motion of the needle on a swing machine is periodic. Motion of wheel of a bicycle. Now, bicycle wheels, if you have observed, it goes round and round. Okay, so this is what? circular motion correct circular motion next question why can a pace of footstep not be used as a standard unit okay how can we use kar sakte footstep standard unit ke tarah? well the reason is the pace of the foot cannot be used as a standard unit of length because it varies from person to person right your footstep size might be different my size of the foot might be different Correct. So that's why we cannot use it as a standard unit. Next question. Arrange the following length in their increasing order of magnitude. So first should be the smallest. Correct. In this the smallest is one millimeter. Okay. And then there should be one centimeter and then one meter. And finally there should be one kilometer. Let us check whether we are correct or not. So this is a measuring tape and the answer is one millimeter. 1 centimeter, 1 meter and 1 kilometer. So we were correct. Smallest first and biggest at the end. By the way, for what purpose do we use measuring tape? Right, for measuring length or height of the object. Fifth question. The height of a person is 1.65 meter. Express it in centimeter and millimeter. Now this we have to solve. Okay, so let us solve this first and then we will check the answer. Okay, so 1.6 5 meter into centimeter how do we do 1 meter is 100 centimeter so we multiply it with 100 and this will give me 165 centimeter correct then to convert it into millimeters what we do 165 centimeter I multiply it with 10 because 1 centimeter is 10 millimeters okay so here millimeter here centimeter so this will give me 1650 millimeter okay so the answer is 1650 millimeter fine let us check the answer so as you can see 1.65 meter is 165 centimeter and 165 centimeter is 1650 that is 1650 millimeters Okay, students, so I hope you understood how to do this. If I want to convert meter into centimeter, I multiply meters with 100. And if I want to convert centimeter into millimeter, I multiply it with 10. Okay, let us see next question. The distance between Radha's home and her school is 3 to 5 0 meter. Express this distance in kilometer. So suppose this is Radha's home and this is her school. Okay, and what is the distance between the two? The distance between the two is 3 to 5 0 meter. Okay. And I want to convert into kilometer. How do I do this? What I do is I take 3 to 5 0. Okay. And divide it by 1000. 
if i divide it by 1000 i will see that the point moves three numbers back okay and it comes over here so this will give me 3.250 kilometer okay this zero you can ignore and you can simply write 3.25 kilometer now let us check the answer one kilometer is thousand meter so the answer is 3.25 kilometers as you can see here 3250 meter 3250 meters by converting into kilometers i get it 3.25 as an answer okay so 3.25 kilometers is the answer and we solved it and we got the same answer so we both are correct let us see next question while measuring the length of the knitting needle, the reading of the scale at one end is 3.0 cm and at the other end it is 33.1 cm. What is the length of the needle? Now how do we do this? Very easy. What we do is we take 33.1 and subtract 3.0. Okay, And this will give me 30.1 cm. So what should be the length? the length should be 33.1 minus 3 which is 30.1 centimeter okay correct let us see next question now write the similarities and differences between the motion of the bicycle and a ceiling fan that has been switched on so both we have to write similarities as well as differences similarities the blade of the fan and wheel of the bicycle show circular motion matlab dono bhi gol gol ghumte hain correct and difference is what bicycle moves in a rectilinear motion matlab bicycle straight line mein jati hai fan does not move in rectilinear motion fan kabhi bhi straight nahi ja sakta wo to rotate hote rehta hai hai na next question why would you not like to use a measuring tape made of an elastic material like rubber to measure a distance okay to measuring tape hum rubber ke kyun nahi use kar sakte what would be some of the problems you would meet in telling someone about the distance you measured with the tape matlab aapko kisi ko batana hai ki aapne tape se measure kiya hai jo ki elastic material se bana hai to kya problem aa sakte hai batate waqt okay so this is what you can write an elastic measuring tape will not give accurate measurement as it stretches in length and reduces in size when stretched okay so uski length jo hai wo badhti hai और उसकी जो साइज है वो कम हो जाती है सो दिस इज वन प्रॉब्लम वेन वी एक्सप्रेस मेजरमेंट्स टेकन विद इलास्टिक टेप वी हैव टू टेल वेदर द टेप वॉज स्ट्रेच और नॉट तो किसी को बताते वक्त हमें बताना पड़ेगा कि टेप स्ट्रेच की थी या नहीं की थी इफ यस हाउ मच हेंस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू टेल द मेजरमेंट टेकन फ्रॉम एन इलास्टिक टेप मतलब कितना स्ट्रेच हुआ था ये भी बताना पड़ेगा विच विल बी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट प्रिफर्ड हम इलास्टिक टेप नहीं यूज करते इसलिए ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे गिव टू एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पीरियोडिक मोशन पीरियोडिक मोशन के दो एग्जांपल्स देने हैं हमें ठीक है तो फर्स्ट एग्जांपल आप स्विंग मशीन का दे सकते हैं अ नीडल ऑफ अ स्विंग मशीन एज यू कैन सी हियर इट इज गोइंग टू एंड फ्रो बैक एंड फोर्थ सो दिस इज अ पीरियोडिक मोशन नेक्स्ट इज पेंडुलम एज यू कैन सी दिस पेंडुलम इज गोइंग बैक एंड फोर्थ राइट टू एंड फ्रो मोशन सो अगेन दिस इज ऑल्सो पीरियोडिक मोशन मतलब आगे जाके फिर से पीछे आती है जब कोई भी चीज तो वो पीरियोडिक मोशन कहलाया जाता है ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फील फ्री टू आस्क यू कैन पुट योर क्वेश्चन इन कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग दिस सेशन सी यू ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट सेशन विद न्यू टॉपिक अंटिल देन टेक केयर बाय बाय